Chess friends, today I and Alpha Zero will teach you Bong Cloud Opening that how you can play Bong Cloud Opening against your opponent. You might think that I could make my own course and sell it or make a channel membership, no I won't do it. Because you love me so much, I live in your heart. Not everyone can buy my course. Education is more valuable than money. That's why I will not take money from you, my premium content and courses are all free. One more important thing. If you just watch my videos then you will forget about my moves and strategies. If you learn something by watching my videos, you will remember some things and forget some things. But if you involve yourself with my chess videos, you can play like me. Chess talent comes from experience and lot of failures. Look at the left side. Arnish and Magnus. They also lost many games, could not solve many puzzles. Years have passed since then and they have become good chess players who work hard. I have also lost thousands of games, Alpha Zero has also lost. But we never gave up. Use your weakness as your weapon, otherwise it will be the cause of your regret. Ok, our today's game format is, Magnus and Arnish together will play against Alpha Zero. If Magnus plays bad move, but Arnish finds best move. Then the computer will play Arnish's move. And if, Arnish plays a bad move but Carlson finds best move then the computer will play Carlson's move. Let's go. Alpha starts with e4. They played e5. In this position, you can play knight f3. Bishop c4. Knight c3, or Rui Lopez after knight f3. Alpha 0 played king e2 against them, it's called bomb cloud opening. What is the plan of this move? Well, you can play d3. But you can't play f3. d3 move is necessary. Knight c3. You can't play f3 because your dark square will be very weak. Dark square bishop will come and seize that square. What black will do? Queen h4. Queen takes f2. But it's not best move. Best plan is to develop your pieces, chess is all about activity of your pieces, structure and king safety. Black will play knight f6. d5? Knight c6. Knight to d4. Well, the king e2 move plan is, at the end game that requires your king to bring your opponent's territory. And if your opponent do castle long or short, no matter where. Then you can push your pawns where he castled. That's why king comes to e2 square. That's what my theory saying. Black can play d5. Knight f6 and bishop c5. Bishop c5 is not good. And d5 is excellent move but not the best. Because if d5 happen, you shouldn't play knight c3, because of d4. Knight back to b1 d3. Knight d2. Then play king e1. Your king can't castle, knight is passive, queen is passive. In this position best move is d3. Then h3, protecting the g4 square from the bishop and the knight. Knight f3. Knight b d2. If d3, then knight c4, if needed. If your opponent plays d4, then you should play c3 after d3. Try to break your opponent ego. Arnish played brilliant move knight f6. I am serious, it's a brilliant move. Targeting the pawn. Threatening d5. And bishop c5. So, d3. d5? I told you knight c3 is not good, d4, knight back to b1. Then you can play c3, try to break the overexpanded pawn. You shouldn't play e takes d5, because of knight takes pawn. Bishop c5. No, it's bishop g4 check. You king blocking the queen and bishop's diagonal, pieces are undeveloped. So, e takes d5 is bad. You should develop your pieces first. 
I repeat this so that you remember it well. Knight d2. Knight f3. c3. h3. So, alpha played knight d2. You can play bishop c5 or c6 and knight c6 which they played in the game. In this position, you can play h3, protecting the g4 square from the bishop and knight. Or c3, then king back to e1. Alpha shows to play h3. Bishop c5. Knight f3. Castle. c3. In this position, you can't push your pawn because of king e1. Alpha's structure is protected by the bishop and pawns very well. And also, you can't take the pawn in the future. Let me explain this. Your d, e pawn is creating strong central border, it's a big asset. Rook will get open file. Your e pawn is a big asset. If it wasn't there, queen will come there? Every light square will be weak. Bishop and knight can create millions of threads on this square after pushing the f pawn. So, they played a5. Because central side is busy to making their pawn position. So, they try to create some pressure on queen side. And other strategy is, rook can come there to attack weak pawns and white's king. Instead of rook a d8, they create a another way to put the rook on d file. So, we have a4. h6. King e1. Alpha moved his king to bring his light square bishop and queen. Bishop e6. g4. Alpha played g4, because he is my subscriber, and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, what are you doing? Ah, subscribe the channel, so you can also play g4 with more confidence. He wants to push his pawns. I already told you that you can't take the pawn, bishop takes pawn. He will push his pawn. Rook e8. Your king is still middle of the board. And your light squares will be weak. They chose to play d takes e4. But better was to play knight d7, let me show the variation. If knight d7 happened. It's not e takes d5. It's understanding the chess variation. Let me explain it, if he takes d5 then bishop takes pawn. Knight e4, then black will play f5 themself. And your queen side pawns and pawn structure is protected by everybody. These pawns are looking so good, rook g1. Then push your pawns. Why not, because it's best plan. Your king is middle of the board. You can't move your pieces frequently because you have little space. If you have little space, then support each other with your pieces. Anyway, they played d takes e4. d takes e4. Knight h7. Queen e2. They played queen f6 but better was to play queen to e7. Rook to d8. Because it's blocking the f-pawn from moving. No. I'm not saying that black should push his pawn now. But in this future, it may be necessary to push the f-pawn. Then you have to move your queen first to move the f-pawn. And you forget about the h7 knight. He needs the f6 square. You wasted two of your moves. Anyway rook g1. Rook a d8. h4. Queen e7. But best move was queen g6. If g5. Then push your h pawn. Alpha played g5. In this position, alpha's strategy is, his bishops are very passive. How he will attack? Knight is snipers these pawns, not white's pawn. Knight c4 to target these pawns. He is trying to open up the g file. Queen will come there after knight c4. Bishop, takes knight. Queen takes bishop. Black's light square will be super weak because of g6 move and alpha have light square bishop. Chess friends, I have a puzzle for you. This is between 85 to 100 IQ puzzle, you have only 3 minutes time to solve it. 
You can pause here after watching this video. Solve the answer and comment me. Let's continue the game. They played g5. Queen b5. Queen d6. Bishop e2. Rook f e8. g6. f takes g6. Rook takes g6. King h8. Knight c4. Queen f8. Bishop e3. Bishop takes e3. Knight takes e3. Queen f4. Queen takes b7. Queen takes e4. Rook g3. They played rook b8. Mistake, best move was bishop g4. Anyway, queen takes c7. Targeting the pawn with supporting of of rook. Bishop b5 is very accurate. It's plus 2 because the queen have no square for moving. Every square is protected by the knight, rook and bishop, and black's king structure is very weak. So rook e7. Queen d6. Rook d8. Queen c5. Knight f6. Knight g5. Queen h1 check. You can't play bishop f1. For example, if bishop f1 happen. Then bishop g4. Black wants queen takes h4, then the knight. White wants the knight. Bishop is pinned, it can't move to target these squares. g8 square. And g4 bishop blocking the rook's line. So, alpha played best move knight f1. Now the bishop is free. He can go wherever he want. But it's not bishop e5. It's bishop f3 to create pressure on the queen and knight. So, rook d5. You can't take the knight. Because of rook d1 check, then you will lose your queen. So, queen a3. Bishop g4. Bishop g5. Targeting the rook and the knight at the same time. If you move your rook to c7 square. Then queen f8 check. Knight g8. f3. No matter where the bishop will go. Knight f7 check. Targeting the g7 square. Position will be fall for black. And you can't move your knight otherwise you will lose your rook. So, rook d d7. Protecting the knight with the queen. f3. The knight is hanging, the bishop is hanging. What will play? Bishop e6 or f5 does not matter. Let me show the variation. Knight takes e6. Rook takes knight. Queen f8 check. King h7. Rook d1. It's plus 5 position. If rook takes rook. Then king takes rook. The knight is protected by the bishop. And threatening mate in 1. So, rook e7. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes knight. White is winning because he have extra piece. Back to the position. You can't move your knight because of bishop takes rook. Knight takes bishop is not possible because of queen is targeting the rook. So rook takes d7. Queen f8 check. Knight g8. Then f takes g4. Black will lose the game very badly. So, queen takes h4, targeting the knight. Alpha played bishop takes c6. Targeting the rook? You can't save the rook. Rook c7. Then f takes g4. Queen takes knight. Queen d6. White have extra piece, and he is winning. Back to the position, they played queen takes knight. f takes g4. Rook c7. Queen d6 h4. Rook g2. e4. Bishop b5. King h7. Rook d1. g6. Rook e2. Knight takes g4. Rook g2. 
Rook f7. Bishop e2. Queen f6. Q takes f6. Knight takes f6. Knight e3. Rook f8. Rook b4. Rook b7. b4. A takes b4. C takes b4. Rook c8. King d2. Rook d7. Rook takes d7 check. Knight takes d7. Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.